How did you see that one, Carl? How did you see that one? Um, I thought it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Um, hopefully the, the fans and the people at home watching enjoyed it. Um, it was a shame there wasn't a couple of goals in it. Um, but overall, I think it was a fairly fair result. The win would have been ideal, but uh, obviously now the, the return leg on Sunday, do you feel like the pressure's off you guys and it's it's on Melbourne City there at home? It's nil-nil. It's, it's basically their it's, favourites to get the yeah, job. Yeah, look, it's, it's finals football, isn't it? I think pressure's on both sides. Um, you know, it's, I suppose the pressure is on them that they still haven't beaten a top four side. Um, so, you know, we'll go there full of confidence. We know we, you know, we won there earlier in the season. Um, so, you know, we've got good belief in what, what we're doing. Um, you know, tonight, you know, we had some good moments in the game. At times, we just need a little bit more polish in that final third. You know, a few passes could have been a little bit better and we might have had a, a few more shots at goal. Um, but you never know. It's, it was a good game. I enjoyed it. Um, and I was happy with, with our performance. Do you think there's many things to, to work on? I mean, you've got a short time, but there's uh, much to work on, do you think, or are you close? No, look, I, I think we're, you know, you, you saw our game style tonight, and I, I thought it, we were very good. You know, we had a lot of possession tonight. Um, as I said, I just think at times um, that final pass in, the, in that front third or the, 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 the pass that we chose was just the incorrect one. Um, and you know they're you know a good side, and and I, I think you know we we pretty much limited them to playing a little bit more direct than what they would normally do. Carl, from a neutral's point of view, it was a much more proactive um, on the front foot sort of performance than on Sunday. Was that a, a deliberate thing or just circumstances? And do you think fatigue played a part towards the end as well? Yeah, look, as I say, um, you know, we, when we play um, City, you know, they're a team that want to play possession as well, and we want to play possession, so it's a, um, we attack them a lot more and, and make the, try and make the game a bit more open. Um, and, yeah, I, I suppose the last 15, 20 minutes, they, you know, got their sort of... Um, when Leckie went in, into the middle, it gave them a little bit more... Um, better with their pressing, so um, that made it a little bit more tougher for us, but... Uh, Overall, you know, I, I thought the boys worked hard and, you know, I thought, you know, when we look back at the game, you know, the first 20 minutes we nearly, we really needed to take something out of that because we were very good in the first 20 and we didn't. So, um, you know, we'll go to Melbourne full of confidence. We know we've won there before, so, you know, we'll go there and and hopefully put it in a very similar performance, but get a couple of goals and get the win. How quickly can you get them their energy levels back up? Yeah, look, it, it's, it's a tough one. You know, we've had a very, you know, long season. You know, both sides have. You know, they, they went away for the Asian Champions League and have come back, and so they've been, you know, I suppose done a lot more travelling than what we've done. Um, so, you know, they had that little break coming into this game, so, you know, the fatigue might be a bit more in their legs than, than ours because we've, you know, had a fairly consistent uh, program over the last six, seven weeks. So, you know, our boys will back up quite well, I, I believe. Carl, just on an individual note, I thought Lopez was fantastic in the first half. Just uh, some comments on his season and performance tonight. Yeah, look, Harvey's been tremendous for us all season. He's played the most minutes out of our squad. You know, um, he was a little bit underdone last season, you know, because he joined late and missed a lot of the pre-season. But this year he's done all the pre-season and, and he showed again tonight, you know, his quality. His um, 1v1 defending is, is exceptional. You know, up against someone of the quality of Matthew Leckie and and didn't give him too many opportunities. He is, um, you know, a, certainly a quality player, and he's he's a winner. Yeah, the crowd thought so, but do you think that was a handball on? Was it Jenkinson, I believe? Oh, no, I don't think so. The ball, his arm was next to the body. You know, we can't be given penalties for things like that. One more for me on um, it's I mean, he's 35. He was he controlled the game for a large part of it, and was still getting up and down towards the end. He's quite extraordinary, isn't he? Yeah, all the Spanish boys are. Um, you know. We're very fortunate that the three Spanish boys that we've got here, they're, first of all, they're fantastic guys. Um, you know, they drive a lot of our culture here. Um, their professionalism is exceptional. They look after themselves and they expect high standards, just not of themselves, but of all their teammates as well. So um, they're well loved here by the playing group and by our supporters. And, you know, they've, they just keep um, doing the, the job for us every week. Carl, obviously you're close enough to, to believe that you can go all the way. If it is to end Sunday, I mean, how, how you, you look back at the season or probably maybe not even tipped to, to make the finals and here you are, you know, nil-nil, 
approaching a second leg with a you know with a, with more yeah look I suppose you know we're one of the smaller clubs um, that you know there's a few of us around the league that have a, a, a very different budget to a lot of the you know the big teams so um, you know but on our day you know we'll fight and I think you saw that tonight in all season we we fight um, we, we don't give up. Um, and we play, you know, we try to play an a brand, attractive brand of football. Um, and if, you know, if we manage to get the result on, on Sunday, that'd be great. Um, but, you know, the boys should be proud of, you know, what we've done this season, but we still believe that we've got a lot more to do. All done in the room. Nick, on loudspeaker, do you have any further questions? Yeah, um, Carl, I mean, you, you spoke during the week about tinkering the tactics from Sunday to look to get more on the ball than what you did against the Mariners. Was the change to bring George Blackwood in done with that thought in mind ahead of Cassini Yangi? Yeah, look, um, you know, we played with the two strikers on Sunday and, and tonight I think it, it suits us better to play with a 10 against um, City because, you know, there's a bit of room in between their lines and, you know, George is very good at that. Um, you know, he got some great positions again tonight. Um yeah, so I, I thought it, it worked well tonight with him and Hero, and you know we'll have a look um, how everyone pulls up, and you know I don't think um, there's any secrets. We've played the same way all season against City, um, with a with a ten in in behind um, the nine, so we'll much we'll do exactly the same on Sunday. And just a comment on the four guys who got selected for the uh, Astra- the other twenty three Australian side. I mean, Joe Gauci, Lockie Brook, Bernardo, and Louis Dorigo, they have all you know had varied seasons, and especially Joe tonight was sensational. I guess just a comment on them uh, receiving that call up today. Yeah, look, I think there's no greater um, honour than playing for the, for the, your country in Australia. You know, I've been very fortunate myself to have played in the in the under twenty threes and for the national team. So you know. I'm, very proud and very happy with those boys of getting selected and you know they've got a long way to go for their next Olympic Games program but they need to um, you know do the work to get there and, and the more work that um, that those squads can play together and play games the more chances they have of qualifying that's just not the 23s that goes all the way for all of our national teams and unfortunate we don't give our junior national teams enough opportunities and enough exposure for them to um, to make these tournaments and the more exposure they get to the, in those games, the, the better players that they will become and, and the more chances we have of getting good Socceroos playing for our Socceroos.